In this video, I will show the process of variable optimization using ADE assembler in Cadence Virtuoso. Here, I have considered a simple CMOS inverter for optimization. DC analysis of this inverter is performed. And its response shows that it has not crossed at the midpoint. There is a variation. The optimization process can make this response to cross exactly at the midpoint, which is half of the applied voltage. Now I am going to show you the PMOS width optimization procedure. Let me close this. For this, I am going to use this nominal setup. Let me copy the same circuit. I am going to apply the same input voltage. To know this, you can click on view, net highlighting, it shows that the same potential is applied. To perform the optimization of width, that is, I want to increase the width of the PMOS from 120 in steps of up to 360 nanometer or 500 nanometer. The first step is go to the launch Click on AD assembler, create a new view. It opens the view as Mastro. Click on OK. It opens the AD assembler view. On the left, you have the test to be added. Click to add the test. This is the test setup which are going to add it. Select this. It opens the AD Explorer by default. You can switch back to AD Assembler by using this. Pop in and pop out. Now try to add the analysis. Select the DC analysis. Save DC operating point. Click on component parameter, select the component, the input voltage is DC, click OK. Sweep range is from 0 to 1, apply. You can click the master view, analysis is loaded. Now you can add the input and output by selecting this signal or I will show you the another process go to the outputs to be plotted so this is what I want to have at the output A X this has to be Y But before that, let me change this to Y. Check and save the design. Already two inputs are loaded. One more. To be plotted, select on the design. Already two A and X are loaded. Select the Y. A, X and Y. Go back to the master view. Analysis is loaded. Test is loaded. Directly you can save all this if you want. And you can click on this.
good so small error that is model libraries it is including 90 as well as 45 i am working with 90 nanometer so select this again rerun the simulation it opens a viva graph you can click this to see the visualization there is not much difference between x and y even if you split this i have x as well as y there is not much difference whenever we have applied a signal called a you can dock the window back I want to perform the optimization. For this, go back to the ADE assembler. This is just like a switching. In the window, we have the assistant. Click on variables and parameters. It opens the editor for variables and parameter. It asks to select devices in the schematic and properties below to match so select the test setup take this as a reference first already the, this is selected go to the master view and we have these options right pm0 which is the same pm0 instance it has a length of 100 nano total width of 120 nano with respect to width i want to optimize so you can create the parameter here or you can right click and click on create parameter it is added again this time you go to the optimization of the circuit the first one will act as a reference this is the pmos which is pm3 which is to be optimized in this circuit it is pm3 select this go to the master view now it is pm3 select the total width and this time you create a parameter range this is which you want to optimize you can right click and create parameter range or you can click here both are same it opens a tab here you can specify the minimum values maximum values already the minimum value is 120 nanometer now i want to go up to 480 or 500 nanometer approximately in steps of 30 nanometer click ok now you can see this by taking this as a reference i am going to optimize pm3 once this is done you can just click on run simulation totally it has taken 13 test cases for all of this that means 120 next 150 like that it goes on now it has plotted the results it is completing 13 analysis it is performing observe the status here So it has finished all the simulation and you can observe all of this status is completed so if i want to plot all of this plot all waveforms you can see the response here click on this launch viva explorer 
this is the x response which is the circuit for inverter optimization x and this is the test setup which i want to optimize with response y this is x and these are the y for various values if you want you can split them and you can see this exactly at half of that i can select this now observe that you can just click on this and select this it is exactly matching at around 500 milli volt which is around 420 that is the width of pmos should be 420 nanometer so that i can have a slope of exactly crossing it to this center in this way you can achieve the optimization by using the ade assembler in cadence or chisel